Well, really quick, I just wanted to, I guess, say that the Most High has given everybody different gifts. And I believe that we are under the impression that all of these gifts are worldly talents. And I believe that with time and faith and patience and prayer and not denying the truth that the the otherworldly type of gifts that he's given to his children are going to be made very plain and very strong. I believe that um, some of us have the power to heal some of us have the power to see things. Some of us have the power to hear things. Some of us have the powers to discern things. And probably like a lot of things that I've never even, have never even come to mind. It's just a matter of getting to a point where you can sharpen the gift in which the Most High has given you one that I have that I'm learning to work with and understand is I have the power to see see stuff and um I know they they talk about reptilians and stuff like the the David Icke and the, all of that those people and stuff I don't believe in those I don't believe in the doctrine or the garbage that goes along with David Icke but I do know what I see with my own two eyes and for a while I didn't see it but as time has gone on it's become clear to me that there's some truth to that and um, the best way I can explain it is you see you remember those books from the 90s that were um, they had a bunch of like images in them and it looked like nothing like a pattern but if you back up from the picture cross your eyes a little look you know look at it a certain way it starts to pop out at you you remember those types of books the the magic eye or the 3d pictures that's basically what you're looking at. You're looking at something that looks one way, okay? It looks one way on the face of it. But if you stop looking at it as one solid picture, it starts to change the form. It starts to pop out at you in a different way. You'll notice that there's no solid cohesion to the form and that it's constantly changing and I know it sounds really really weird but trust me you're gonna you're gonna get the hang of it or if you're meant to get the hang of it you'll get the hang of it but it's just like those pictures those magic eye pictures it looks like a busy pattern but you back up from it cross your eyes a little and then you notice that there's another picture inside of it. Well, that's the case with people that shapeshift. Their form isn't solid. It's not like an eye here, an eye there, a skin here, skin. It's like everything constantly changes. It's like those little cards or pogs or things you would have with the hologram on it. And then you tilt it and then you see the picture change. It's like that. It's like very, very subtle, very subtle change. And the eyes are a dead giveaway. They say the eyes are a window to the soul. I believe there's a lot of truth to that too. There's, there's, um, they just change. They just change. It's like a hologram. And you're going to think your eyes are playing tricks on you. Like, did that pe person's eye color just change or did their look like their eyes did something or 
Is their skin turning kind of weird color or green or brown or yeah it's changing trust me it's changing and like I said it's gonna for a while your brain is gonna keep telling you you're seeing what you're seeing they've done studies where they've um, made paragraphs of words all of the words misspelled okay and they've had a study that no matter all of these words in in line are misspelled you can still read the paragraph you can still get the meaning and understand exactly what's being said even though all the words are misspelled that's what we're talking about the overall the overall result and the overall image is still received but when you look at the finite details there's it's all messed up they have um, a psychological like visual exercise where if you look at a dotted line okay and the dots 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 if they skip some dots in the line you still see a full line you don't even know where the dot is missing that's what we're talking about it's very subtle it's one of those things where it's just there's a skip there's like a skip in it and because we're so used to seeing the dots it go ahead it in the mind goes ahead and completes the the sequence but it's not really there just like just like the paragraph of misspelled words that you can still read it's all it's all it's all jacked up but it but your brain processes it and goes along with what it already knows so i just want to say that um that i think we should get into understanding our gifts from the most high and using those to our to the best of our ability and not denying those gifts and because um, he gave them to us for a reason and not being ashamed of those gifts is basically what I want to say because there's an amount of shame that you can have from seeing things other people don't see or hearing things other people don't hear or um, perceiving things other people don't perceive and I just want to make this message to encourage you to not be ashamed of those things and to move forward with it rather than um, suppress it well that's all I want to say you all stay good Shalom